G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's a project that I've done back in 2017 that I've never actually video documented. Reason being was this was part of a secret ham radio club project which was to which was to send signals over light between between our two light transmitters and with the original intention was to send send audio over light transmission but I wanted to take things a step further and send narrow bandwidth television over over light wave. Well anyway when I when I was doing that project I actually built a functional synchronized Nipcow disc mechanical television. I think from memory I copied the circuits from the uh, NBTV, the main NBTV Association website and uh, I think I got some help from from some of my tech friends to get it all operational. Well, anyway, it turned out to be a success. Of course when I drilled the holes it wasn't very nicely drilled but the picture is there and it's pretty well synchronized and you can and through the uh, through the broken up picture you can see my face on webcam so I'm using the uh, video to NBTV program to output my to output pictures to the Nipcow disc NBTV and uh, yeah so it's seen it's well synchronized. Mind you, it is actually a bit of fiddly farting about to get it synchronized. But anyway, so I had to sort of adjust these knobs and dials and all that. Switches and I can't exactly remember what's what, but I believe the yeah, that I've worked out to be be a speed booster for the uh for the uh, Nipcow disc, because I because when I start when I start it all up, I, it goes at at too low a speed, so I need to pump a bit of voltage into the into the motor to get it uh, functioning a lot faster. Anyway, this is I think this is the signal strength. This is brightness, contrast, and that's a synchronization adjustment. Anyway, what I'm going to do is stop the. I'm going to get this mouse thing to work. Mouse work <laughs> doesn't work nice on the table here. I'm going to stop the picture and I'm going to put a uh, still picture in the MB the NBC logo. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch. So turn it on you'll get a bit of a mess here it's you can see the picture but very skewed what i'll have to do is boost the uh boost the dc motor get it functioning faster then turn it off and it should hopefully synchronize but it ain't and so it's a bit of a fiddle process And I'll have to probably make some adjustments to the synchronization dial here. Oh, just have to boost it up. It has to also be in alignment because um, it can be off centered. Okay, it looks like it's trying to synchronize itself. There we go, it's synchronized. And uh, now I think this could be the brightness adjustment because otherwise um, it would go off sync if I if I if I if I lower it too much. And I think this is the contrast adjustment. 
and this should be the uh, input signal signal amplifier because I know when I lower it too much it goes off sync and it starts bouncing and then yeah, it loses synchronization So I have to do all this adjustment stuff again. Okay, it's back in synchronization. Of course, I can also adjust the uh, signal strength by adjusting the volume of of the audio output. So if I lower that too far, it will it will lose its synchronization. Yeah, it's a pity I didn't actually film this project in the making. But, what can I do? It was for a secret ham radio project. I can't remember if I actually tested sending signals over light wave to this uh, mechanical receiver. I think if I did, I, I I can't remember if it worked or not. It was about four years ago when I was doing all this. Anyway, that, so there, that's that's my demonstration of my mechanical TV that I built four years ago. That's synchronized. I know in the early 2010s I was experimenting with with NEPCAL receivers and um, and they were, none of them were synchronized adjustment adjusted they were all either totally manually adjust the motor speed and hand break the the uh, disc to get the picture synchronized there's a lot of fun I have to say anyway so uh, show you the uh, all of the mechanical TV so we'll start from the back this is all the uh, circuitry so yeah you got the uh, the uh, light modulator you got the uh, power supply light modulator circuit synchron sync circuits all that That's the video input. There's the power switch. And that's the DC motor. That's the light box. And as said, um, Yep, that's uh, that would be the brightness control, contrast, and I get and signal input and synchronization adjustment, and the uh, motor booster. And here we've got the uh, we've got we've got the uh, the uh, sink. You got the sink holes on the disc, and we've got we've got an infrared LED on one side and and a photo transistor on the other I'd say it's probably the infrared LED and that's the photo transistor and of course that's that's the uh, viewing screen I actually I actually stuck a magnifying glass at a distance from the from the disc so you can actually see the picture magnified Okay, if we switch this off, I'll manually slow it down. So yeah, so there the uh, there the the uh, the scanning holes, 
to display the picture or scanning the, the uh, light holes to display the picture Th all 32 of them and uh, this is the uh, sinkholes and uh, with with the sinkholes you leave you leave one hole not drilled because what it, because it is a it, it is a uh, reference point for synchronization I'm just going by off memory here I'd explain things better if I had all the schematics and stuff anyway that's about it for this video thought I'd share this because it's been yeah I've never shared this project before it's actually been about four years since I last fired this thing up too <laughs> anyway it's a fully functional uh, synchronized nip cow disc mechanical TV anyhow hope you enjoyed this video this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out